Okay, I'm using Notepad++ and I'm going to create a basic web page that has key structural elements, including the doc type definition, head section, and body section with some common tags like headlines and paragraphs, and an image. Um, I'm, I'm referencing here my HTML dog book, and I'm right here at the beginning, chapter 1, page 8, they've got the basic structure for an HTML document. So I'm going to go ahead and type that up. Um, they have us starting off with the doc type definition. The doc type definition I just typed is going to be at the top of every web page you create. It tells the browser which version of the hypertext markup language that we're, that we're using. We are going to be using XHTML 1.0 strict, and it looks like I have a little typo there. That should be a D, doc type, oh, let's see, doc type definition, there we go. And if I make a mistake up here, then my validator won't recognize it. So we'll find out soon enough if I made any typos. Now, you shouldn't find yourself having to type this every single time. We're going to be making a lot of web pages. So after I go a little bit here, I'm going to end up creating a template, which I can start all of my web pages with. So I've got my doc type definition up there, and I'm pretty sure I typed it accurately. Now I'm going to type in the opening HTML tag. So there's a basic tag. Now inside of many tags you write, you're going to put in attributes. And there's an attribute for this HTML tag. It's the XML namespace attribute, XML NS. Now I have my HTML tag. Now I'll create a head section with an opening head tag, and a closing head tag, and a body section with an opening body tag, and a closing body tag, and then at the very end I will close off my HTML tag. Remember I open my HTML tag up here and I'm closing my HTML tag down here. My head section will contain for now a simple title. And there we go. So this is my basic page, page structure. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment and file save as. And for now, I'll save this to my desktop. And I'm going to call this xhtml strict.html. So I'm saving it as a web page, but it is going to be my xhtml strict template. So every time I need to start up a new page, I'll simply open up my xhtml strict template and start working. I won't have to retype my doc type definition over and over again. Now, as soon as you open up your template to start working, you might as well take another moment to file save as and save it as whatever, whatever you want to work on. So I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, first page.html. Notice I'm not using any spaces. I'm using hyphens instead of spaces. Uh, often I use underscores instead of spaces as well. And I'm also using all lowercase letters for my file name. So now I'm ready to start a page. And on my page, I can put a number of different things. I can put in um, a headline, of course. And while I'm here, I'll change my title to putting something slightly different in my title so I can point out the differences. And there's my first web page, and let me go ahead and type in a paragraph. So my headline has a paragraph, and I'll put in a few other tags. Emphasis, which will italicize some text for me. And let me go ahead and do this too. Now, since my headline is bold automatically, my strong won't help. So this isn't required in your first page, but I'm also in my title section. I'm going to do a little something else. There we go. Okay, so now I have my first page. So now I want to test it out. I want to see how my page looks on the browser. So I'm going to jump over to my browser and open up my first page, and there it is. I've got my headline and my uh, paragraph of text. Notice my title, my first web page by Ralph, is up there in the title of the title bar of the browser. Here's my headline with its blue word first, and here's my paragraph with its italicized text there. So this is a basic web page. Now I'd like to add in some other components. Um, for instance, I'd like to be able to put in a picture, for instance. So I'm going to create an area with a picture. Now I'm going to center this picture with the image tag, a source attribute, alt attribute, 
there we go now I just need a picture to put in there so I'm gonna go find a picture off the web okay here's a picture I will go ahead and right click and I'm gonna save the image as and I'm gonna save it to the same location as my web page which in this case is my desktop okay I've saved that now back over here now if I go back to my web page and refresh Ah, my image shows up and of course it's centered because I used an inline style to tell it to be centered. So here's my web page. I'm going to go ahead and put a quick background color on here. Once again, you won't need to do this at the beginning, but you know, a lot of people like to do it anyway. So I'm going to go up to my style section. Ah, there we go. So now I have a yellow background color. Okay, so now I've got my web page all set up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a second to validate my web page for errors. So I'll go head over to the validator. And I'm going to validate by file upload. Since my page is not online yet, it's local, I'm going to validate by file upload. I'm going to browse for it, go to my desktop, and look for my first page.html and check it. Ah, this page is tentatively valid XHTML1 strict, and let's see if it gives me some messages up here. No character encoding found, falling back to UTF-8. Okay, so this is actually good, and if you get this page is even tentatively valid XHTML strict, that is pretty good. Um, it is mentioning a couple things that I'm leaving out. There's a couple meta tags that I can put in to ensure character encoding, which is basically the way text is translated into zeros and ones. Um, read the fact entry on character encoding, so I'll follow their advice. I'm going to click on this no character encoding um, a few tips on how to do this alright I will click on that oh, here's some HTML examples for HTML XHTML served as HTML you should always use the meta tag inside the head section alright let me give that a try I'll just copy what they've provided go back to my page put it in the head section and I'll put it after my title tag and they didn't do it but a meta tag should have a trailing slash at the end okay so meta tag should have that slash at the end everything else looks legit and valid let me hit save jump back over to the validator go back a few pages and let me try this again yes this page is valid xhtml1 strict which means I am using xhtml or html in the valid XHTML1 strict syntax. So I'm following all the rules here and everything is ready to get published. So now I'm ready to publish everything and see how it looks online. I'm gonna go ahead and launch my FileZilla application. FileZilla and I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account. I've already recorded its login information so it should take me in pretty quickly. Okay, here's my domain on the right. It's my ralph.cocc-webdev.com, similar to your school account. And now I'm going to find the page I want to upload on the left side. It's on my desktop, and if I do by last modified, here it is. There's my first page.html. Hold on my control key. There's my snowboarding JPEG. Drag them both to the server. Right in a blank spot is fine. Notice I'm in my domain folder up here. And they are uploading, and I think they are now uploaded. So I should be able to go to my browser type in my web address ralph.ccc-webdev.com slash first page.html there's my page and there's my picture fantastic